yogis. Today we're going to be doing a standing flow that doesn't involve any pressure on the wrists. We're going to leave out chaturanga and down dog for this one. We'll start out standing on our mat in mountain pose. Taking an inhale, floating the arms up overhead, spreading the fingers, maybe drawing that into a back bend if you like. Palms join, sliding down the center line, letting the head bow slightly. Inhale the arms up once again. As you exhale, we're going to go right into it, stepping the right leg back, letting your knee drop down. So we're coming into a low lunge, using your inhale to guide the arms up and out to the sides. Palms are facing up to the sky, very wide fingers, opening from the heart. We're spending some time in this flow working on the shoulders. We'll begin by drawing the palms together into Yoga Mudra. This is a great position to work on your posture, stretching the muscles in the chest that get very tight. Drawing the arms back out to the sides and up overhead. Shifting your weight onto your front foot, stepping up to the top of the mat. Inhale the arms up overhead into mountain, maybe a back bend. Palms slide down to the heart. Inhale, sweeping the arms out and up. Extending back, opening the heart. Exhaling, the arms come down, and we're bringing the left leg back now. Lower right down onto the knee. Low lunge. Inhale, arms straight up. And we'll begin to move into our shoulder opening sequence, just warming up the shoulders, opening out to the sides into a T. But the palms are rolled up. We get a little external rotation. And then switching that, turning the palms toward each other, grasping the fingers into Yoga Mudra. This is a great space to inhale, filling the lungs completely so you feel the breath move up the body like a wave. Release your hands, draw the arms out and up. Shift your weight forward onto your right foot, step your left leg up, we find ourselves in standing at the top of the mat once again. Inhale to guide the arms high. But from that space, join the palms together and let the palms drop to the back of the neck or the upper back. It's like a little backwards prayer. Inhale the arms back up. Exhale to release them down. We clasp the fingers into Yoga Mudra, drawing that down into a back bend. And rolling forward, letting yourself drop into a forward bend. Now I'll start to pedal my knees back and forth. And as the knees go back and forth, my shoulders are going to shift. The arms slide over to one side and the other side creates this very nice rhythmic rocking in this forward bend. Swaying with your breath side to side. The shoulders and the hamstrings are two chronically tight areas. We're loosening those spaces up. Release the arms, let them float down to the mat. Little clasp on the back of the feet to draw into your forward bend. And we inhale halfway up. Find an arm position that works for you when you come into your half forward fold. Exhale, release into forward bend. And then we're going to add a twist into that. I'm opening my right arm up, 
so that my left knee bends. And that's going to help me to keep my spine straighter. The top fingers are wide. I'm creating this expansive reach through the palm. Then roll that into a nice circle for the wrist. Drop the right arm down. And we'll take that over to the other side. Inhale yourself about halfway up so that the spine is straight. The right knee gently bends. And the left arm opens up to create that twist in the spine. Expanding through the palm. When you're ready, start to roll the wrist. Fluid circles. Come back to center, let yourself lower down. We'll inhale into our halfway up pose. Arms right back by your sides. You're using that to draw the shoulder blades down the back. Exhale to forward bend. Inhale, pressing the feet into the earth, expand up into mountain. Fingertips to the sky. Let your prayer drop to your upper back. The head bows slightly. Inhale, straight up. Exhale, release the arms out and down. And we'll take the right leg, step that back into a lunge. This time, I'm taking a high lunge, but if you're more comfortable with that low lunge that we did earlier, you can take that as well. Inhale the arms up and then out into a T. Palms are facing up, so we have that external rotation in the shoulders, reaching the thumbs back. We'll change the arm position into a cactus, or like goal posts. The elbow and the shoulder joint are lined up. The fingers are wide. You can draw your breath up high into the chest to open the heart. Straightening the elbows, extend your reach up to the sides. Release the arms down behind the back into Yoga Mudra. And this time we're going to bow down into Humble Warrior, letting your head drop down. You're moving either towards your left knee or just past your left knee. The arms lift up behind you to increase that space in the shoulders. Inhale, draw back up. Lifting into your lunge, release the arms, sweep the arms up. Shifting your weight forward, step the right foot up to the top of the mat. Take an inhale to rise the arms up into extended mountain pose. You can back bend if you like. Palms come down the center, settle at the heart. Inhale, the arms up. As you come down, we're going to switch to the left side, stepping the left leg back into your lunge. Again, you have that option. If you want to drop into a low lunge, you can put the knee down. Or if not, staying here and inhaling the arms up. Starting to draw them out to the sides. It's that expansion across the chest and the front of the shoulders. Reaching the thumbs back. Bend your elbows, come into a cactus position. The elbows are drawing back. The hands are staying wide. Lots of space in the front of the body. There's a really free inhale. Straighten the elbows, reach the arms up to the sides once again. We'll shift the palms down, sweep the arms behind the back to clasp the hands together into Yoga Mudra. As you exhale, bowing the head down to come into Humble Warrior. 
You can rest on top of the right thigh or you can drop your head past the knee. Draw the arms up behind you to increase the opening that you find in your shoulders. Inhale to rise up, releasing the clasp of the hands, rising up with the arms. Start to shift your weight forward. We step the left leg up to the top of the mat, back into mountain, drawing the arms high, back bending if that feels good. The hands come into prayer at the upper back, bending the elbows. We want to open the underside of the shoulders through the armpit as we do that. Arms come back up, releasing them down and out to the sides. And here we'll come into chair pose, bend the knees, bend the hips. Draw the lower belly in. The arms are straight out from the shoulders, but you're still trying to draw your shoulder blades onto your back. Palms come into the heart, we're prepping for a twist. As you exhale, rotating to the left side. You can either keep the hands in front of the left shoulder, or you can come down, bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Once you're there, take your right leg and step it back into your lunge. You end up in this prayer twist. Take the right leg, step it back up to the top of the mat. You're in your twisted chair. Inhale through center, rise up straight into mountain. Stretch the body out. Exhale the arms down. We'll come into our second round of chair. Use your exhale to get low into the hips. Draw the lower belly in. Draw the hands into the heart. Twisting to the right side this time, hands to the shoulder, or you can lower down into your prayer twist with the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Shift your weight to your right foot. This time your left leg is going to come up, stretch back, gently place the toes onto the mat. You end up in a high lunge. Coming out of that the same way you came into it. Left leg steps up to the top. Return into your chair. Use an inhale to untwist. Press the feet into the earth. Rise up with the arms. Exhale, palms to the upper back, that reverse prayer. Inhale, arms up, slide down the center, pausing at the heart. We'll take an inhale, open the arms up to the sides, reach back with the thumbs. Big, expansive heart, lifting your gaze up to the sky. How open can you make the front of the body? Coming back into center, Palms come into the heart, standing straight, rising the arms up overhead, and then we'll join into yoga mudra and drop into a forward bend. From that forward bend, you can take that alternating rocking motion, bending one knee, swaying the arms over, Bending the other knee. Release the hands, let them float down. Settling into your forward bend. 